am I the only person that tries to like fix their hair right before they start the vlog? Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am wearing my blue light glasses as I film today because I just feel like a hot mess right now and I feel like the glasses make it like purposeful. I don't know, I've always seen that when like girls have glasses, they just look, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, welcome to today's vlog. Today we are doing honestly nothing exciting. And I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to show you guys what our days normally look like. Um, and we're stuck inside the house today. Steven had to take my car to work today because um, they're moving offices right now and they're moving a bunch of furniture and we have the like SUV and his little Hyundai isn't big enough. The trunk isn't big enough. So he left me the car seat, but I honestly don't like driving I've never really driven Lucas in that car, but I just don't feel like going through all of the hassle of like setting it up and um, just doing all that. Like it just sounds like it doesn't sound fun. So we're just going to stay home, maybe walk around um, at the apartment complex for a little bit just to get out the house. But for now, I thought he was right behind me. Um, we're just going to keep it chill today. I did, however, want to show you guys um how i used the little thrift baskets that i used that i purchased yesterday um i'm really obsessed with the like longer one it's so cute let me just show you so his room's always a mess you guys already know this but we have this little like it looks like a little arc honestly this little basket's so cute but this is where i want to keep all of his like farm animals mainly his dinosaurs for now I don't know really what else to put there but just to show you guys as an example and then I like to keep it up here I just think it's so adorable and then we have the other two baskets so these are from Love Every and these are little cards that have all of the animals that came with them so like we have a little pig and then the point is to match them together so that's something that we're gonna work on pretty soon um, but he kind of just like played and like put them all over the place. So yeah, that's how I'm using the baskets for now. Um, I am still really needing to hang these up, these bookshelves from Ikea. My only dilemma is the fact that I don't want to like drill a hole and like totally mess it up and then <laughs> Steven's going to get really, really mad. Um... Yeah, that's something I cannot mess up. Like, we're in an apartment, and having to patch that would just be such a pain. Um, and also, the only reason that I'm putting that off, too, is because we still don't have his dresser in here. I feel like I say that in every single vlog. We still don't have his dresser. Um, and once I configurate the room, like, how it's going to be for a while, because I like to change things up, like, all the time, um, then I can find a dedicated space. Because once I drill those holes, like, those bookshelves are going to stay there for the remainder of the time that we're here. So... I am getting some like little, uh, what are they called again? I cannot for the life of me remember what they're called, but that way I'm able to hang up um, the rest of his stuff that isn't super permanent because it doesn't make a really big hole in the wall. I have this little sun mirror from H&M and I want to put this at his eye level. So again, I have to wait for the rest of his things before I hang this stuff up. And then I have his little Lucas sign. If I haven't mentioned already, you guys, Lucas is so, like he's actually really into dinosaurs now and that's all he wants to watch is this like Jurassic Park show um, that's on Netflix, even got him into it. Honestly, I'm into it too. And it's just, it's really cute. And then this sign I got from, I think a little like small Instagram shop i don't exactly remember but yeah i thought this was super cute because it names all the different dinosaurs so he can learn all of their names i'm still learning all of their names but i know a stegosaurus i know what an apatosaurus is an ankylosaurus obviously everyone knows a t-rex pterodactyl don't know what the heck we're gonna do for lunch i i started off this week so strong so strong as the days have been going by i've just been like so exhausted like this morning i woke up i'm gonna talk in lucas's room because he's watching encanto in my room and the music i can't think so this morning i actually woke up when lucas woke up 
He woke up around like 7.30, 7.45, and you guys, this is the third day in a row that he like wanted to take a nap as early as 9 a.m. I don't know where the heck that came from, but it's been happening the last three days. He slept a good hour, and yesterday when he did that, I had him take a second nap because the first day when, on Monday when he did that and took a really early nap, he was so exhausted at the end of the day that he had a whole tantrum and like it was just terrible that night. So I was like, we're not doing that again. That's not fun. We're not doing that. So I have been having him take like an extra nap around like three o'clock because anything later than that is too late and then he'll be up late and yeah so I'm like like three o'clock is the cutoff and he did really well yesterday he slept for like almost two hours um for the second nap so he woke up at almost like five o'clock which honestly is not bad so I think I'm gonna do that again today but um I just went down like a little rabbit hole I have just like not wanted to cook um, at all this week. I like, like I said, I started off strong with my little meal plan and, um, I think I've just been getting really defeated because Lucas doesn't want anything. Like he doesn't want anything that I cook and he's been like extremely picky the last couple of days. Um, let me just tell you guys yesterday he didn't eat hardly a single meal he had in the morning like half of his oatmeal which usually he has like two plates two full bowls of oatmeal he had half of it he had two kiwis some blueberries um french fries from chick-fil-a and some of my bun from my chick-fil-a sandwich and that was it like he did not want to eat he just wanted snacks and fruit and i'm like dude like you cannot keep doing this like you can't keep doing this this week has just been so rough with him and i feel like today we're actually doing okay not doing terrible we had a pretty slow morning which was nice he took a nap for an hour and i got to like relax but i don't know what the heck we're gonna do for lunch i honestly am so tempted to order food <laughs> because i feel like i've been sort of picky this week i don't know we're both we're both not ourselves this week. A real day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I have been trying to encourage Lucas to draw, to color, and he's kind of getting the concept of it. Yeah, you like to grab the yellow though, and the yellow's really hard to see, bub. You wanna use my blue? Blue. We were rocking no pants today too. Last thing before I forget, I think Lucas is starting to show me signs. I don't know, it could be in my head that he's ready to get potty trained like really, really soon. I know I talked about this very briefly in my last vlog when I did the little Amazon haul and we bought him um, briefs. But today for the first time, he was like pulling on his diaper and he, He's, I, I swear I heard the word pamper. I don't use that word, but he was like tugging on it. And I was like, did you poop? So I checked his diaper because he looked uncomfortable and there was poop. And so they say when they start to notice that they've like peed or pooped and they don't like it and they're uncomfortable, like that's a sign that they're ready to start getting potty trained. So that was, I think, a pretty clear sign. We got the toilet, we got the briefs. Um, now I just have to mentally prepare for potty training and that's, I'm not excited about it. Okay, our Uber Eats just arrived. I ordered this like chicken combo with macaroni and extra macaroni salad because I know that's what Lucas is going to want. Um, I'm going to give him some of my chicken, some of my rice. Yes, and I just asked him if he's hungry. And he's definitely hungry. Here is Lucas's portion. And look, he's eating just like I thought he would. Hopefully he tries the chicken, but he has rice, macaroni salad. I ordered him his own because he would have been all over mine. And then I gave him some of the grilled chicken and some of the fried chicken. And then this is my plate. I think this is to dip the chicken in, this like sauce right here. So I'm gonna eat. He's gonna take a nap pretty soon. And then I get to relax. All right, well, that was an epic fail. Lucas didn't eat any of his food, minus the rice, and he kept asking 
for more rice. So is there such thing as like an eating regression? Because that's exactly what he's doing right now. And my patience is running very thin. Okay, anyways, he's down for a second nap. I could really get used to this. But while he's napping, I wanted to take this chance to finally hang things up. I don't know why I could not think of the word earlier. What I was waiting for in the mail was um, wall nails. I'm gonna be hanging this little beaded um, like hat organizer thing that I got a while back from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have all my hats here. And then I showed this to you guys in like a really old vlog. I found this thing for 20 bucks on Facebook Market. I honestly had no idea what I wanted to do with it. I just thought it was cute and I liked the little like boho look. Don't know if like boho is what I'm going for right now, but it's what we have. So I'm working with it. Um, you guys might think that I'm putting this in a very awkward area, but I'm actually putting it, first of all, I know this is like so weird. I've never seen an apartment with another like a vanity in the bedroom. I felt, I feel like we're in a hotel because we have another one in our actual bathroom, but I was thinking of hanging it right here. It is going to be pushed out a little bit, but honestly, I think that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, but I want to like figure this stuff out. We need to buy Windex. I know you guys, it's, it's chaos in here. Let me turn on the light. Um, but I want to put like our rings up there just because Lucas brushes his teeth here and he's always trying to like grab everything. This, my little jewelry organizer doesn't fit there, but I'll just have to leave that there. But I'm going to try to organize all this stuff. And then you guys like how like messy the room is and the hats I'm going to put behind the door right here. I already know Lucas is going to try to pull down all my hats, but that's why I'm also doing it while he's asleep. So hopefully he doesn't notice. took forever and a half it's actually not centered according to the level but like barely and honestly you can't even tell um but you guys see how it like sticks out of the wall a little bit i mean this is our bedroom no one's gonna come in here but i thought like i'm never gonna light the candle over here because fire hazard but i do want to display it and then maybe put like a couple of other things um I don't think that would be bad just kind of to like clear up the counter space and then I can put my jewelry oops back up here back it into the corner or I can even like do that yeah I think it'd look nicer like that but let's see what I come up with let's see what I put on there I'm gonna declutter everything in here put our rings and stuff up here and then yeah I don't think it looks bad I just finished organizing it and I think this looks a thousand times better I put our q-tips and my cotton rounds up there I have two of my like nightly routine products for my kinder beauty box absolutely love this stuff especially this serum, oh my gosh, you guys, I deal with such dry skin, and this serum saves my life. Um, and then I have the candle, which again, I'm not going to light it on this thing, hazard. I'll bring it down here when I light it, and then I have, like, my rings and stuff here, and this little, like, ring holder was a gift from um, Stephen's stepsister. It was really sweet. She got it for us in Napa, so... I think that looks a thousand times better. I also wiped the um, mirror with this just like Lysol wipe. They say it leaves streaks, but honestly, I just, it looks a thousand times better. And I used this um, rag so it wouldn't leave streaks because that was just looking really bad. But like, I just think it looks so cute. I'm really glad I finally was able to hang it up. Um, and then when you back up and then, I just think the room is finally 
coming together a little bit. <sighs> All right, you guys. I am so glad I did that. I've been having um, a really rough time mentally today. Now, I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. Um, I don't even really know if I know where it's coming from yet, but just battling with some things. Doing this kind of, doing these kinds of house things always makes me feel better. Just makes me feel a little more clear headed. Um, but yeah, not to end the vlog on such a like awful note. I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm really shocked at the fact that I am on like day three of vlogging and that I have not given up yet, although it was very tempting today. Um, but I'm glad that I'm still going strong. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And yes, I am going to be in my PJs all day. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.